Welcome to this screencast video demonstrating how to use COMSOL to model the loading of an I-beam with a hole. This is practice problem number two in session number three of AltaSim Technologies training course, Solving COMSOL Multiphysics Problems. For this video, we will focus particularly on the geometry building aspects of this model. The I-beam pictured here carries a 10-ton load distributed along the top of the beam. Both sides are fixed. A question that we might ask is, does the hole in the I-beam significantly affect the results? We will answer this question by using COMSOL to solve the structural mechanics problem, and then by comparing the maximum displacement to the situation where the I-beam does not have a hole in the middle. To begin and open up a new model file, click File, New, and then in the Model Wizard window we will accept the 3D space dimension, so click Next. Right click on plane geometry and select rectangle. Here we'll define a width of width, a height of thickness, and then a corner position of minus width divided by two minus height divided by 2. And we can click Build Selected. Let's add another rectangle. Right click on Plane Geometry. Select Rectangle. And I'm going to resolve this problem for the beam without the hole. It's now completed. Now clicking on the Displacement Plot 0.2417. So we've gone from 0.2426, I believe it was, to 0.2417. So the only difference in displacement is about one micron in difference in displacement. So this is the advantage of putting holes in your I-beam. You can use less mass um, of your I-beam, but still get the same structural support performance. This completes this example problem. Thank you.